Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I'm currently packing up a suitcase for a couple of weeks abroad. And uh, while I'm there and going to the USA, I'm going to be doing a little bit of video work. So as I'm busy packing, I thought I'd do a quick show and tell of the um, mostly fairly budget grade uh, video that I've picked up over the last couple of years in no particular order. So here we go. Show and tell item number one, these little uh, camera lights are um, incredibly light. This is from Ulanzi. If you look for the product number Ulanzi Mini LED lights, you'll pick up one of these. These fit right on top of uh, cameras and they're really compact. You can see this related to my thumb. So uh, these are great because they don't take up a lot. Item number two is a little action camera. I picked this guy up uh, last year while I was in the US and uh, it's definitely not a very high quality product. It was like about $50 on Amazon Prime, uh, but I don't really have much use for it, so I kind of keep this for, um, it's in an underwater case, so on the odd chance I want to do some shooting underwater or stuff like that, or mounting it even on the car, you know, kind of more adventurous things, um, that's what I'll use this for. So this is a 50 buck um, action cam, and it's got these buttons on the side, so I figured it was kind of a useful thing to have in my, in my gear. Okay, next thing definitely going in my bag in the audio packing cube is going to be this XLR wireless system. This is the Lakato MW5 and it's a uh, plug-on wireless system so you just plug uh, one end onto your interview microphone and one end into your camera and it works over 5.8 gigahertz so it's a little bit better. So this is a really useful thing uh, to have. It means that you can use an interview microphone wirelessly. It didn't really come as a storage box so I just bought a few of these little cases uh, from AliExpress and I use my trusty label maker. Uh, just so that um, I know exactly what's in each box and it's kind of a little bit of a hard shell so I think it gives us some protection too and uh, yeah that is definitely something to to have. I'm going to be doing a little bit of work on this trip so I, I'm definitely packing my Zoom H1N microphone for that reason. Um, I'm actually doing a little bit of narration for an audiobook. This is an incredibly versatile piece of gear. It can be used for doing your field recording. You can pass it through to an actual recording device, so just use this for its preamps, and it takes a little SD memory card, you can monitor it, and it's got pretty decent inbuilt microphones, so I can use one of my Ulanzi MT34s to get this rigged up as a sort of traveling podcast microphone, and um, I picked up in the US last year this furry windscreen for wind protection when using it outside, as well as this for me, and again it didn't, I believe, come as a case, so I just took some measurements and found a little case on um, AliExpress that met those dimensions and that's what I'm going to be using to store it in my luggage. Naturally SD cards are very important for recording video so I bought one of these um, SD card wallets off the internet and I keep a few different SD cards uh, which I label. Not a good idea by the way these are just used for adapting, adapting purposes. Uh, don't label, don't stick labels onto your SD cards because as I've learned before there is a chance they will detach and get stuck in the circuitry of your camera which you definitely is a very good way to ruin a camcorder so don't do that um, I now just use sharpies if I want to actually label them so I've got these these guys ready to go wired XLR microphone of choice for me is currently the Shure PJ48 this is an XLR mic as you can see by the connectors it doesn't require phantom power it's about $50 and uh, it's definitely a great audio quality for its price um, and I use this either with the wireless XLR pair or I'm also packing one XLR cable just so that I have the option of going wireless if I want to and I just stuck a foamy on the top for a little bit of uh, wind protection. A couple of small accessories, SD card adapter, uh, this is one of those little plug-in USB things it takes a SD card and then if I need to get a micro SD in I'll just use one of those adapters on my SD card box and a uh, USB lavalier microphone for uh, doing any uh, vlogging on the road which is really useful this is just a $25 USB lav mic as much as wireless stuff is great I find that wired microphones work more reliably or they're just handy to have at least as backups just because they don't have you don't have a power requirement or whatever so this is a uh, wired XLR and I have XLR stuff because of the fact that I record video using a pro camcorder so this is a wired um, lavalier microphone from Comica and uh, this guy does require 48 volt phantom power so I use this in conjunction with my camera you can just run a long XLR cable put the XLR put wired up to somebody and it'll get audio into your camera so I just mark off XLR lav plus 48 volt so I know it's in this box because I only have one microphone fitting that criteria 
This is something I got printed up recently. It's a custom windshield. It says Daniel Rosehill video. Uh, this sent me back about $15 ordering it from AliExpress and it's kind of a nice thing to have. I was interested in getting YouTube on the logo and then I realized that um, I don't really want to like hitch my video work all to YouTube and in any event they didn't approve my brand use request. Uh, so I just went with my name so it's something if I want to sort of uh, quickly identify to people what I'm recording stuff for. This is a lens filter box. Um, so I don't really use lens filters that often but these are 58mm lens, fil fil lens filters that fit the um, Canon XA40 and this is a little protective thing to keep them safe. This is a fixed ND filter. I am picking up a variable ND filter on this trip. Uh, no, I've only got one, one other one in there and I have my other uh, filter I use is a um, UV protection filter which I just use so that the actual lens of my camcorder is never directly exposed to stuff. This is what I use for my lighting. I like to bring one small light just to have it and one actual proper light for the camera. This is a Ulanzi product. I'm not sure what the product name is, but it's got variable color temperature settings. Got a nice little variable um, uh, brightness wheel. And um, I keep this uh, little uh, silicon diffuser on it um, all the time. And this, as you can see, has a quarter inch, but uh, it's designed to screw into, it's got a cold shoe as well. So I just put this onto my camcorder and it throws off a decent amount of light. So the weather in the US is, uh, there is a chance of some rain, so I picked up one of these Movo uh, camera rain covers last year while I was in America, and I uh, bought it for the camera I'm recording this on. I've since upgraded to a pro camcorder, the Canon XC40, uh, but pleasantly surprised to see that these still fit. So because the camcorders are pretty similar in size, a lot of my old gear uh, can still be used, which is great. I have this irrational fear that my laptop is gonna stop working any day. So just to be safe, I'm also packing this uh, external terabyte SSD, and I'm using this to back up my clips. Um, as I create them. So they're never just on the laptop. There's always a backup uh, sitting on this, just in case my laptop were to fail at some point during the trip. One thing I've discovered since getting into videography is that there's a lot of stuff you need to keep charged, whether it's wireless systems, whatever. So I bought one of these um, multi-charger things in the US last year. You can see it's got a US plug. And this guy has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven regular USB ports and one USB type C. Uh, so this is the kind of thing that I bring so that I have something that instead of using a bunch of different adapters, I can just plug this into the wall and uh, charge up everything that I have that requires a uh, rechargeable battery take. So this is the Ulanzi MT34 multifunctional tripod. I'm actually packing not just one, but actually three of these. And the reason for that is that they're super useful. They're pretty lightweight and they can be used to quickly rig up a little sort of portable recording studio. Um, I'm bring, bringing, buying a protective case for my webcam on the road because I find you can never, you always seem to have something that needs another protective case. So the use case for three, you might have one for your camera, one for your light, and if you, want, you could even put a shotgun a microphone on one if you just attach a, actually I have it right here. This is a, another Ulanzi MT34 with a Shure microphone fitting on the top. So I can put those two guys side by side and sort of set up a little portable uh, recording studio on a tabletop pretty much anywhere. For doing any editing while I'm on the road, I've got a little pair of wired headphones because my regular studio headphones are just too bulky to justify lugging them halfway across the world. But one thing I really can't live without is these vertical ergonomic mouses. I find them really good. I'm sure this is a terrible way to uh, to store the cable. There's probably something much better. Uh, but yeah, this is just a one I bring for traveling or when I'm using it for work on the road. Um, I just find it, I find it very hard now to use regular uh, mice. So I bring this for my video editing and stuff like that. So this is the Boya WM8 wireless system. These guys take uh, batteries and again, just to get them organized, I'm bringing a couple of lavalier mics. And again, I just kind of improvise to find something to store them in. I got this kind of protective case and I just keep it labeled again because when you've got a few of these systems, uh, it kind of gets a little bit confusing. Um, these I've actually found to be really good. This is a uh, XLR receiver, so it just plugs straight into my pro camcorder. And uh, I can use two transmitters simultaneously. So I've got two body pack transmitters with a um, lapel mic going into each of them. For all my tripoding requirements, I now use the Manfrotto Compact Advanced. I know there are some people who don't like this tripod because of its dual mechanism, but I've come to actually really like it. It's definitely adding a bit of weight to my luggage. And I do use packing bags to keep stuff organized and I also have, I'm trying to find it here, a luggage weighing scale um, so I can keep track and packing cubes are really great because if you have stuff that can be quickly shifted at the last minute into your um, backpack luggage and I'm traveling also with a hard cased backpack to protect my camcorder 
then um, that can be done. This guide will go into my stow luggage as well as pretty much everything else here. But the really important stuff like medication um, and my camcorder, which is the most valuable piece of video gear I own, that's all going on my back. This is another one of those little accessories that's proved to be an incredible purchase. This is a LCD screen sun visor. Now that I have a pro camcorder, I have one of those digital LOED tunnels, but I actually still use these a lot when I'm going out on shoots. And uh, this just is a little Velcro thing, it just ties onto the L LCD screen. If you're shooting video somewhere sunny, um, I highly, highly recommend these. I live in Israel, so it's kind of sunny for like 10 months of the year. Uh, so I'm actually picking up a second one while I'm over there because I'm always worried this thing's going to fall off my camera, so I'm going to just have a backup for myself. Anyone who's watched my YouTube channel knows I'm kind of obsessed with data storage and backup. And the technology I use for archiving my video is something called the verbatim M-Disk. Um, so this is actually, believe it or not, about three years worth of video production. Both the stuff I put on YouTube, the stock video I sell on Pond5, and also the stuff I do for my boss, which gets published elsewhere. Uh, so I created, um, up to last week, this is pretty much all my on-site copies are uh, duplicated, and this is going to be living in an off-site location in the USA. And when I visit next in a couple of years, I'll bring another batch of M-Discs and store these somewhere secure, hopefully. So they're going on my luggage too. One of the things I find really add weight to your luggage are XLR cables. So sometimes I've actually bought a couple to leave in the US, uh, but I'm traveling with one today just so that I have one that I can use pretty much out the box. I think this is about a six foot XLR cable, and I use these Velcro ties, another thing that's really handy to have, just to make it a little bit more compact. And if I'm overweight, um, I'll probably leave this behind, even though it's probably not gonna save a ton of weight, but XLR cables are super useful, even if you use wireless systems, just to always have a way of going wired, I find to be very helpful. Finally, the star of the show, the Canon XA40 professional camcorder. I use this, I keep the pro handle on at all times. I have a shotgun mount for my microphone, and this is the Audio-Technica, Oh, I've got too many product names floating around my head. So as I mentioned, this guy is going to be in my backpack because it's super valuable. I also took out separate uh, insurance to protect this guy. And I keep the lens hood on. And as I said, for something this valuable, a $1,500 camcorder, um, I'm definitely keeping this um, on me at all times in my backpack. And it's a padded camera backpack just for... Uh, you know extra security, but I just feel reassured knowing I'm not going to show you guys my laptop because it's a pretty standard uh, Linux laptop, but uh, that's going with me as well final final piece of gear as a backup fiend um, I'm not just into backup data, but I think backup is in general a good thing So I'm bringing one backup system. This is a wireless system. This is terminating in 3.5 mils It's not a very high quality or super expensive piece of gear, which is why it's my backup. It's about $50. It's the Endure MX-5, and again, I've gone for my uh, traditional approach of buying these random uh, hard shell plastic things on AliExpress after measuring dimensions. So that'll go in with my bag too. And then everything is being grouped into these packing cubes, which makes it easy to quickly separate uh, between my clothing and the stuff I'm bringing for shooting video. Hope that uh, little show and tell was useful. I feel like waving a few of these items here. Uh, this is my evolution in 2022, and as I continue to get into video and make more video content, uh, I expect it's going to be changing the future. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more videos.